everyone, what's up? Happy Wednesday. You know, I was trying so hard to wait it out um, and get it to where it wasn't raining so that I could do this video outside, but it is raining, so lo and behold, it's going to have to be in the house. Um, it is what it is. You know, I felt like I kind of held off as long as I could, so it's all good. Video's still getting done um, in the house regardless, but it's okay. It's okay. So today's title is Beware of the Liar. Our verse says, Not only is the devil a liar himself, but he is also the father of all lies. It's John 8, verse 44. It says, Satan cannot tell the truth. He is called the father of all lies. Anything he tells you will be untrue or just half true. Satan offers his lie to replace what God has already said in his word. Satan says things like, you'll be wiser like God. You can get away with it. No one will ever know. It will solve your problem. Besides, everyone else is doing it. It's only a little sin. But a little sin is still a sin that separates you from God. The devil tells us all kinds of lies. The devil makes us think that what we're doing is not that bad because everybody else is doing it. When as Christians, we know we're not supposed to do it. That's how the devil gets us, right? He attacks our brains. He attacks our hearts and tries to make us reconcile what we've done and make it seem not so bad when in reality, it's still bad. It helps to know that Satan is entirely predictable. He has used the same strategy and old tricks since creation. All temptations follow the same pattern, which Satan used on Adam and Eve and also on Jesus. Satan tries to tell you to doubt what God has said about the sin. Is it really wrong? Did God really say not to do it? Didn't God mean this rule for someone else or some other time? Doesn't God want me to be happy? Watch out. Don't let doubts make you turn away from the living God. Keep your eyes and mind on God. His truth will help you spot Satan's lies every single time. So, the peace that it gives me to know that Jesus was tempted as well, that any temptation that I faced, Jesus faced it while he walked this earth, that gives me peace because that tells me that if Jesus can go through this earth, go through this life, and not sin, and be tempted so much and not sin, that there's hope for me too. Now, do I expect to be able to go through this life and not sin? No. Do I hope that every single day I'll do better? And maybe sin a little less? give in to temptation a little less than the day before? Yes. Because I know that I have a God on my side that is all-powerful, that is almighty, that will be with me every step of the way. And that it's fighting for me. And all I have to do is call on him. And he will give me a way out of temptation. That's, that's my goal every day is to sin a little less than the day before. Do I always succeed? No. But am I making an effort every day to try and live better today than I did yesterday? Yes. Precious God, Satan's lies steer me away from you so easily. I want to listen to your voice and hear your truth. When I doubt, turn me towards your word. Turn towards God's word. In those times of doubt, in those times of temptation, in those times of can't discern truth from the lies, turn towards God's word because it is always truth. God's word is truth. 365 days a year, 24-7. Never changes. Everyone have a great Wednesday. Have a great rest of your week.
and of course, go be the example.